Mr. Jain, we would request you to please deliver now the welcome address for this August gathering this morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I warmly welcome you to Times Network's flagship event, the India Economic Conclave. In just its eighth edition this year, IEC is now an essential date in the economic calendar of the subcontinent. It is a unique thought leadership forum that brings together policymakers, economists, corporates, and key influencers, both Indian and global, to debate and discuss the critical challenges and great opportunities of our times. At $3 trillion, we are the sixth largest economy in the world. And in terms of purchasing power parity, the third largest. We are an ancient civilization, but not one that is paralyzed in the past. We are home to the world's third largest startup unicorn ecosystem, behind only the US and China, which is a testament to India's youthful culture of innovation and entrepreneurship. India is among the countries that are recovering the fastest from the pandemic, and all indicators are pointing upwards, with most sectors reporting equal, if not better, conditions than before. A recent IMF working paper indicates that India has rapidly pulled its people out of extreme poverty in the last decade. We have achieved all of this within 75 years of becoming a sovereign democracy. And that's the most remarkable and heartwarming aspect of this exciting journey. Some countries have grown by stamping out dissent and adopting a brutal top-down approach to grow. Ours, on the other hand, is a noisy and argumentative political process. On the world stage too, we have friends, but are not beholden to any one country. India's vibrant democratic ethos and our independent outlook are what makes it such a great nation. It's neither an easy path nor a shortcut. And it may have slowed us down at times, but that is also what has made our ascent deliberate, durable, and deep. And it has earned us the respect and admiration of the world. What's more, we are only getting started, especially if we can make our demographics work in our favor. India is not an overnight miracle. It is a masterpiece in the making. Firm as ever in our dedication to grow, despite challenges at home and disturbances around us, we continue to march on undeterred, unwavering, and unstoppable. It is this relentless spirit that the world sees as the greatest dividend of our democracy. To further deliberate on this advantage at this year's IEC is the theme, the great Indian democratic dividend. I look forward to great insights and a definitive roadmap of how this dividend will further strengthen India's growth trajectory in this very promising decade. I'm sure that this edition of India Economic Conclave will act as a catalyst in our pursuit of realizing India's potential on a global scale and a more humane and peaceful world for all of us. Thank you. Mr. Jain. Ladies and gentlemen, over the last seven editions, India Economic Conclave has looked to champion the most pertinent economic agenda of the nation. 
year after year. Now, down the years, the defining themes of India economic conclave have become the talk of the nation and have become the clarion call of the nation's leading policy makers.